When it comes to weighing commercial vehicles, there are two main options, static truck scales and weigh in motion scales. Both types of scales serve the same basic purpose, to accurately measure the weight of a vehicle, but they differ in terms of how they are used and their specific capabilities. Stay tuned as we discuss these two types of weighing equipment. Static truck scales are the more traditional option. These truck scales consist of a weigh bridge that's usually around 70 feet long, that's usually above ground and installed on a concrete foundation. The vehicle drives onto the scale to be weighed. Static scales are typically found everywhere from feed mills to recycling centers to waste stations. They are used to weigh vehicles that are fully stopped. One advantage of static truck scales is that they are accurate. Because the vehicle is fully stopped and stationary when it is weighed, the accuracy is better than a weigh in motion scale in which the vehicle never stops. Additionally, static scales are common. They've been utilized for many years. Technicians know how they work and spare parts are readily available and vast majority are legal for trade. However, there are also some disadvantages to using static truck scales. Because the vehicle must come to a complete stop to be weighed, these scales can cause delays and disrupt traffic flow. Additionally, a static scale takes up a lot of room. The scale weigh bridge is usually at least 70 feet long and requires plenty of additional room for the truck to enter and exit. You also have to pour a large concrete foundation for the static scale to be placed on. Therefore, static scales are typically more expensive than weigh in motion systems. Weigh in motion scales, on the other hand, are designed to weigh vehicles while they are in motion. These scales use sensors to accurately measure the weight of a moving vehicle without the need for it to come to a complete stop. One advantage of weigh in motion scales is that they allow for the weighing of vehicles without disrupting traffic flow. Because the vehicle does not need to come to a complete stop, weigh in motion scales can help to reduce delays and improve overall efficiency. Additionally, weigh in motion scales can be installed in a smaller area since the scale platform itself is only a fraction of the size of a traditional truck scale. However, there are some drawbacks to using weigh in motion scales. One potential issue is accuracy. Because the vehicle is in motion when it is weighed, there is a greater potential for error compared to static scales. Additionally, weigh in motion scales may be more complex. For example, if a load sale were to fail, the entire scale platform would likely need to be lifted in order to change the cell. And finally, at the time of this video, there are very few legal for trade options when it comes to weighing trucks in motion. So which type of scale is the best option for you? Ultimately, the decision will depend on your specific needs and circumstances. If you need the most accurate weighing possible, static scales may still be the best way to go. However, if you need to weigh vehicles quickly and you're willing to sacrifice a little accuracy, then a weigh in motion system may be the better choice. I hope you enjoyed today's video on static truck scales versus weigh in motion truck scales. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for all the other scale videos that we have. You can also check out our website, centralcarolinascale.com, for more info as well. Thanks for watching.